Well, how many times have you heard this? It's not the crime, it's the cover-up. It's the lying to cover up the hiding and the hiding to cover up the lying. And it just could be GM's Watergate, that even if you accept at face value that GM officials didn't appreciate the gravity of these increasing reports of ignition problems in some of its cars, once they did, that's when they started allegedly dragging their feet and hiding some potentially very bad press. One guy is already filing a securities fraud lawsuit against GM, arguing the company did in fact know it had these safety issues and didn't only keep them from customers but from shareholders as well, thereby falsely propping up GM's stock. Now, GM has consistently said it did nothing wrong. Its CEO has already apologized for the mess but has yet to take personal responsibility for the mess. That, of course, is very legally different, I'm told. But my next guest says, not all that different. With me now, white-collar defense attorney Robert Wolf. Does this lawyer have a chance? That's what it comes out. Securities deception. I think they have a very good chance. I mean, you're talking about over 10 years. This has spanned a decade. And now back to 13. 2001, I think, is, right. the, is the first year. And you have lawsuits. You have service bulletins. They hired their own engineering company. Then there were reports to the uh, Safety Transportation Authority. It was all over the place. And they made a conscious decision along the way that it was, quote, and I think this is from the company, cost effective was one of the reasons not to have the recall. Well. I'm going to try. The company won't talk to us and has argued, as it, I just stated there, that they did nothing wrong. But the gist of their argument is, is, is this, Robert, that uh, we didn't deliberately deceive anybody. We had a few cases where suits were involved, but that always happens. And we didn't connect the, the, the possibility that better than 300 deaths uh, could be involved, which would later prove to be the case. By the way, a figure they dispute, I might point out. Um, so what do you make of that, that, that they didn't connect those dots and so they saw no reason to. I say the experts disagree with that. Right. The experts would say, at least as of 2007, there should have been a recall. And we're talking about what's, what's publicly available. Now that's interesting, because by 2007, 2008, of course, we had the bailout. And that would have been a bad time for this to go public. So there is, you could understand a reasoning not to get that out. Well, let me tell you, it gets worse than the bailout, because in 2009, they're in a bankruptcy and very important to them to maintain their financial life and to successfully get out of that bankruptcy. And one thing that was very important was limiting their liability disclosure and exposing this cobalt issue could have jeopardized their financial life. You're talking about the Chevy Cobalt, the car in question with the ignition problems. It yes. expanded to other cars. But in other words, when you go into bankruptcy, all prior sins of the old company are not the responsibility of the new company. And they were very very insistent on that, right? Well, this is, this is what's aggravating. The, the test is material non-public information is securities fraud. And securities fraud is both civil and criminal. So you could have SEC investigations. I think there is a Department of Justice right. criminal investigation. But you have this concealment that's just shocking and extraordinary. So you think they're in deep doo-doo here? Well, they said that we didn't do what we should have done. That's what the company has said. And they had financial reasons going right through the bankruptcy not to have this come out, you know, in full bloom and jeopardize their financial life. And instead, you have people who work for the company, you have retirees that invest. You know, General Motors is a stock that if it's not, it's not all the eggs in your basket, it's a lot of the eggs oh, in sure. your basket. A lot of and they the put eggs. these people at tremendous risk. Okay. We'll watch closely. Robert, thanks for helping me sort this out. Robert Wolf, uh, Pretty good at this stuff. You know, guess what?